Hello, everyone. And hey, I can hear you back there. The audience can hear you. It was literally just Thanksgiving. It's too early for Christmas. Shut the music off or I will break your knees. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Miniature Menagerie. Now, this episode of the Miniature Menagerie is a little bit special. We're not going to be creating new miniatures. Instead, we're going to be improving the selection of miniature terrain, which I already have. Now, you might be asking, how exactly are we going to improve these pieces? Well, that answer is very simple. We're going to be rebasing and creating new bases for all of my scattered terrain. Before now, I created scattered terrain with cardboard bases. Now, that's okay. That's okay to be starting out with. But what I really want is a nice transition, a nice slope on the edge of a base so it transitions into a gaming mat. Now, you can't really do this with cardboard because it has that corrugated inside. You can't really do that. And cardboard is really a flimsy base material anyway. So I feel like it's just overall a very good improvement to rebase all of my scatter terrain with instead poster board. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on and we're going to get right into the video. Welcome to D20 in the Skies. Alright, so before we actually get into the creation of these new bases, I'm just going to cover what scatter terrain I did and rebased. I was able to complete the forest scatter terrain, the swamp scatter terrain, and the desert scatter terrain and rebase all of those pieces. And they turned out very nice. Now let's get into the process which I used to rebase these miniatures. Come on over. So we're going to start by simply separating these two corrugated pieces here. This corrugated bit, we're going to cut that out, and then we're going to sand it down with this sander here. And then we're going to cut a shape to the size of this base, and we'll go from there. All right, so now that I've cut out all of my bases, what I'm gonna do next is start painting my bases. Now what I'm planning to do is, on the bottom of the base, I'm just gonna do simple black paint because before with my cardboard bases, they had a very messy base. The 
bottom of their base anyway, and I want to fix that with this next batch. On the top side, however, I'm going to try and match the soil tone, which I have for these individual biomes, so that I can blend them in with terrain in our next step. Let's get right into it. Alright, so now that we've painted all of the bases, what I'm going to do real quick here is I'm going to glue these pieces onto the bases and then around the edges of the bases add some terrain. So for these swamp pieces, which I've already kind of started on, I'm going to use these moss rolls, which I used for the same pieces. Let's get right into it. Now honestly, I really like this terrain. It looks very professional. It really blends into the already created terrain. And I would honestly say, because I am planning to do this, I'm planning to get a gaming grass mat, this is gonna blend into that so much better. I'm planning from now on for all of my scatter terrain projects to start using poster board bases. So I'm probably gonna pre-create quite a few of these and honestly that's a really smart option and they're very easy to create as you've seen in the video. If you guys have any questions about this project or the steps which I took to rebase and create these new bases, go ahead and post your question down in the comments. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button and if you really like the type of content I create and want me to keep making more of it, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. Anyway, you all have a great day. Keep on creating and I will see you in the next video.